So, uh, Paul, you've been working out for a long time, right? Yeah. Do you, um, so when you first got into it, you were doing it just to like improve yourself and like stay healthy and you were playing sports at the time, right? It was in high school. Yeah. I just, yeah. I just did it to, cause I was playing football. I just wanted to, um, you know, compete with uh, everybody else, you know, stay but, in shape. Do you think you got to a point where it went a little bit past um, just trying to prove yourself and you went a little too far? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, it got out of hand, uh, like in um, 12th grade, I'd say. Yeah. Where I was like working out like every day after school for like six hours. Yeah, six hours. Like you, you yeah. go right after school and you wouldn't be home for yeah. like seven at night. Yeah, I got then eat dinner, you know, do some homework, and then go to bed and repeat. And do you think it was like you were obsessed with it? It's all you'd think about? Yeah, for sure. Uh, like, I'd be in school just thinking about, like, what exercise I should be doing, how many reps, you know, stuff like that. That's, stuff that that's crazy, man. Do you think, um, do you think that, like, social media kind of also was a reason, like, you kept comparing yourself to, like, people you'd see on Instagram and be like, wow, how do I become like that? Yeah, definitely, uh, because then you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, wow, I'm not even anything close to that. And you're like, I, uh, I got to compete with that. You know, like, I got to, I got to become that, you know, um, I'm not going to be something until I'm, I'm there, you know, whatever it takes, you know? Oh yeah, bro. Do, do you think anyone specifically that like really you saw and you really were like, well, that's what I want to be like, or that you were just one, it was anyone particular or no, not really. It was just like a group of people. Like bodybuilders uh, on Instagram or YouTube or whatever? Not really. But like, you know, I guess like the Bradley Martin guys and stuff like that. Like, to a certain extent, like not as big, but almost as like, you yeah, know. You want to be like that. Yeah, and strong too. Like I wanted to have that and like the strength too. You want to be like the, the biggest. Strength. Yeah. Continue. Like the strength of a powerlifter and like the, um, the body of a bodybuilder. Yeah, man, that's crazy. The best of both worlds, kind of. <laughs> so, so what helped you get out of it, that mindset? Um, I guess just talking to um, the older, older people at the gym who've been through it. Like, yeah. The same experience that I have. Who told me that, like, it's not, like, as important in life. And, like, after when you reach a certain age, you're just going to stop, like, not caring, but you're going to realize that it's, it's, not healthy, uh, to, like not healthy to be so obsessed yeah. with it. Yeah. Yeah, there's easier ways to go about it too. You don't need to spend as much time there. More efficient ways to go about things, and you got to look at the other things in life too. For sure, for like diversifying your life. And do you think you're a lot healthier now that you just do it for fun, and it's not something that like you're obsessed about and always want to be like the best at? Yeah, because there's no um, pressure really. What's the thought? Yeah, there's no pressure of like you know. Like, cause if I ever have an off day, if I used, cause if I used to have an off day back in the past, I'd be like, I, I suck and like, I'm not good enough. So like, then I'd come back to be stronger and it's just like, it would be like a cycle of like, just like mental, like, recurrence, you know. So you think like you overcame your uh, body dysmorphia? Uh, yeah, I'd say for the most part. Yeah. Um, I just learned to like, you know, learn that like, uh, you can only get a certain size um, naturally, you know, not like, you know. Yeah, and you want to stay away from the, the dangerous drugs. Yeah, definitely. I don't want to, like, have any of the bad side effects that, like, that relates to duty, you know. Gotcha, for sure. Thank you so much for your time, Paul. No problem, Tom.